back again. <sighs> Just trying to figure this out. Because I don't like dropping frames and I keep dropping frames and I have to make the quality of my stream worse, which is not fortunate. Something I'm trying to avoid in general. Let's quick build a very stupid maze. Boom. Is that even solvable? I'm not sure it is. Okay, there we go. And we have a path for it. I think people can do it. Opened it up. Got all the flat rides we can do now. My drop frames are going down. It's now down to 5%, which is not that bad. I just wish the stream was at a higher quality. What I'm going to do for a second, ooh, everyone's going to buy their super expensive umbrellas. That's a big win for me. Help me out with that. I'm going to check the stream on my phone real quick. See how it looks. I've never been on the app while well, I've been live before. It does tell me, hey, you're live. Let me try and find myself on here. Weird, the systems of it. Just trying to boost my viewer count, don't worry. Okay, so pulling this up, how does it look on my phone? It's weird to just see myself in a delayed reaction like this. It doesn't look great, but honestly, it's not as bad as I was worried about. And I'm still dropping 5% ish of frames, which is a number I think I'm going to be good with, at least for today. There could also just be internet issues for myself today. But also, I'm trying to play a game that's not graphically demanding at all. I probably just need better internet, if we're being honest. I'm also, I'm streaming in 60 frames per second, so... Okay, I'm going to keep running. This is going to be the settings for this stream. I'm probably going to look into this before the next time I stream again. Let's build a quick flower power t-shirt stall. People don't really like this park right now, but they're going to like it after we actually build some stuff they care about. Such as, I want to do a Heartline coaster, but I'm going to wait for that. No, I click off my stream on that angle because the way that I had it there might be hurting my internet and if I'm hurting my internet I'm hurting the stream something of the sort I have enough money for this I'm pretty sure do one vertical track the top section down and I think I have to do select the level. Um, I'm gonna actually click the delete what I have here because it goes up too quickly. I want it to go straight a little bit first. And then bank, 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 straight, unbank. Definitely running out of money, but again, I should be able to take a loan, so all will be good. Assuming I can. Okay. This part's not too evil. And do I on ride photo section at the very end? Beautiful. Here's an entrance, here's an exit. Let's rotate this around such that we can look at it. You have a nice 
lengthy Q line there. Open it, and we gotta test this out. Looks pretty good to me. We'll see what the results are, but it looks pretty good. I don't think there's a way to make that number not red, but we'll see how it rates. Yeah, rates are brilliantly. It's a great ride. Okay. Simple enough to build. Happy that it was made. There's no water rides available, which is unfortunate. But we got a roto drop, so we can put one of those in. Two twenty is gonna be good enough from ninety. It's not gonna be the craziest roto drop. Uh, we'll do this. Start working on testing it and start building everything together. Oh man, I just wish I could be streaming in higher quality. Feel bad about that, this move. I'm gonna have to figure out either how to increase my internet. I'm not paying for the highest level of internet right now. I might need to do that. Otherwise, maybe there's some other settings I can optimize. We're only dropping 5% now. 5% of frames drops, not that bad. So, I gotta be okay with that for now. Just something to keep thinking about. Let's do a Heartline Coaster. I've had people walk in the stream long enough to hear me complain about this. I can build a bad roller coaster. I currently have no money, but I can do it. Hopefully I can keep taking loans out. I probably can. People are still coming in. Oh uh, yeah, the Heartline's gonna run right here. Oh, I'm out of money. Let's get those loans. Heartline Coaster costs a lot of money. Might be time to increase the price to get into Woodstock, by the way. There's some good stuff here now. People should actually want to come still. That's going to be high enough. We do an upper transfer. We do twist to a vertical drop. Can I do that? Oh, I can. Beautiful. Oh, everyone got to love the Heartline Coaster. Am I right? Can I do another... The marquee's in the way. Can I destroy the marquee? I want to do another twist. There we go. Worth it. Now we do a lower transfer. And we go... All the way back down. Into a twist. Straight, straight. Beautiful. I forgot to be testing this while it was going on. Scared me there, Mitzi. Decided to join me for the stream. Hello. I did not realize you were here, or even that I left the door open, but I guess that's fine. I'm the only one in the apartment right now. Uh, let's start working on. Why am I still kind of clear scenery coming up? Ah. Exiting out of everything is more difficult than it should be. There we go. We'll do the fun queue line for this one. I guess, no, I, I want a longer queue line than that. Okay. It's not perfect, but hey, it's a Heartline coaster. What are you asking for? Just give it a real life test. It might have one too many twists. The drops might be too much, I don't know. It's a Heartline coaster. They're not supposed to be good. I could use some money right now, so what I think I'm gonna do is destroy some cars. Because I want that space anyways. Thank you. It's just nice little chunks of chain. Oh, that's a stall. I'm gonna put that there. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna do the cars in this area. This is definitely like a ride area of the park. This is not an area for people to uh, just see what's going on. See what those stats are as they come, and in the meantime, I will pay off a little bit of my loan. People should be able to buy their umbrellas while they're here. We give them another option to right over there. We got a hyper twister, which is another fun. Starting to get some stats, and we have no red numbers, which is a good thing. Got four inversions, only two drops. Yeah, I'm happy with that. It's not great or anything, but I'm happy with it. I was going to say, I just watched that custodian over there walk by, and I was worried he was just going to ignore the fact that there was puke on the ground. Okay. It's fun to see. The uh, air power coaster is getting... People even riding this? There is a couple. Okay. It's not doing awful. People are exploring out the whole park. There's nothing over there, but maybe we need to add something for the people dedicated enough. They can come get a pretzel. They deserve one. You can also add in a mini golf course, because we haven't done that yet. Too quiet over here, but at least I have the pitter patter of the rain while it's still going. Okay. We're going to do golf hole A, golf hole C, into B straight ahead, into D. Uh, no, let's not do a D. D is not what we want here. And now we gotta walk our way back a little bit. But in the meantime, we can do a hole there, naturally. Should definitely have a hole here as well. Making a fun long mini golf with our few holes. Oh, we can't do a D there? That's unfortunate. How about a C? Cool. Got every type of golf hole plus a couple for fun. Uh, that pretzel stall can get out of the way. Golf, you're going to be playing some music and you're going to be open, even though I don't have a path yet for you. There we go. We can keep it with the fun scenery for now. All right. People that are over here, they can come play mini golf. Exciting. Okay, okay. Running low on money. Probably spending it too quickly for everything that's going on. Let's do a mini coaster. Those are pretty cheap. And roller coasters bring people into the park, and bringing people into the park is the goal. I'm actually not doing super hot with the goal. Part of that's with taking my time to try and figure out the whole situation with the stream. It's not fully figured out still, but yeah, all right. I'm going to try and stop talking about it. I'm talking about it too much. I just want this to be a good stream. That's all I can say. Alright, I'm going to start it here. Alright, that's good enough for me. Do a quick little turn, turn, straight. Oh, that doesn't work. So 
and we're just going to keep it going flat straight for the time being. Level out there. Photo section needs more money. There we go. That brings us to 120. We started at 135, so I think that should be fine. Do a helix down large into a helix down small. Into just a little bit of a normal drop. We're on ground level. Follow that with a little helix up small action. Let's see. We go. It is working. Let's stop there. I need more money. It's the name of the game. Uh, I guess if I'm gonna do a drop at all, I should do it like that. Get us back to flat land. Then kind of just waddle around is what I'm thinking. Then I can do. Oh, meant to have the back keys be banked. I still even know I cannot get that piece to work how I wanted to. Hmm. I don't know if this pathway was the correct route to try and fix everything, and I'm out of money. <laughs> Bankrupting myself over a junior coaster. Luckily, if I end up somehow failing this mission, it shouldn't be hard to read. can fit that in. I was worried about it, but there we go. We do a big turn here, because then that's going to make the hmm, big turn didn't really work out a lot here, too. We do a little turn, little turn. Great. There we go. Now we're going to keep it flat. Uh, I did that one too many. Let's delete that actually. Then I can do what I was trying to do get this pathway finished. Okay. Far too much work for what's really a mediocre mini roller coaster, but what are you gonna do? I'm not gonna undo it. Kinda like the visual design of it. I'm out of practice, I'm rusty in this game. Let's give it a real test ride. And I'll pay back a little bit of my loan while that happens. Hmm. I'm just trying to look over here, assessing the stream quality. It's it's definitely not unplayable, but it doesn't look good. I wish it looked better. You can still read stuff, but it's just kind of blurry. I probably need to pay more for it than that is what I'm thinking is going to have to happen. What's been developed over here? We've got an Enterprise. We can build an Enterprise. We can do that real quick. 
take a loan out to build an enterprise. Seems worthwhile to me. Do that. And do the pathing. As is logical. There we go. People are probably getting it caught. So I didn't even really, you know, look at the stats for the mini roller coaster, but it's not crashing. It's looking fine. It goes really slow at the end there, which is probably not good. I probably burnt off too much speed throughout the course of it. I have not made money any month here, but that's not the goal of this adventure. I can probably charge more at my entrance. So I should do that. You're not charging your money. You're not playing logically. Or something like that. Oh, I'd always max myself out of 10,000 just out of pure thought. Hey, I can do 10,000. That seems like a nice round number. I didn't realize that was the max loan. That's not great. That's not good for my current situation, but we'll see. We're going to clear out a row of cars. Ah, that's some nice money. Everyone who's watching the cars, they got to watch them die. What can I say? I like the cars, but I needed that money. Let's actually let's keep our income up. We're doing an advertising campaign for the park. Uh, just start with four weeks. And advertising for a particular ride. We're going to do the mini golf because it's way deep in the park, so we'll have to walk by everything. And I'm not going to do any vouchers yet when I'm still worried about money. Alright. There we go on those. $30 seems like a reasonable price right now. I feel like that's an amount that I'm not going to be upset about the current situation. I need a thousand more guests. I'm about halfway through. So I'm still on pace despite everything feeling like it's going somewhat wrong. I'm dropping a little bit more frames, but not a crazy amount more. Yeah, I think, I think what this is, is I just gotta uh, think about getting better internet. Should do another roller coaster, but I don't have the money to do much. Although, this is the type of situation that Stupid Boat Works was invented for. There we go. It goes mirrors with the other stupid boat work, which is right over there. We got a spinning wild mouse, which is another cheap roller coaster we can build. I probably will build right in where we killed some trees. Bringing people into the park, which is good. Where's the spinning wild mouse? Spinning wild mouse is pretty cheap. It's just also decently limited. In ability. I'm gonna try and run this right away and put the entrance and exit down such that I can play some later because it's a wild mouse coaster. It's gonna go in on itself. spinning control toggle for fun. Bring that back up a tiny bit. Uh, I 
it's not testing itself anymore. So let me do that again because I want to see the result. It's now down to 120 when it started at 135. I wonder if it can make it back all the way there. I'm going to keep it to 115. Keep a drop of two going. We're going to go down to 100. Do a big turn. Yeah, I kind of like doing this. Kind of like where I'm going with this. That goes right into the right exit, so I can't do that. But, I can keep getting in its own way a little bit. Maybe going a little too fast for its own good right now. I added a dip there anyways. I cannot be contained. Uh, that, that dip actually won't work. Gotta keep it going straight for a bit. It's probably fine, if we're being honest. It's a wild mouse coaster. You go on them to feel a little dizzy. And then that's your ending. I think that's probably a pretty fun one. I'm, ha I'm happier with this design than I am with some of the other designs I've been building. Test that out for real. I should have been doing that, but rusty. That's what, what can I say? Advertising definitely seems worth it. We're making our money back. We're in a profitable month right now. I pay back some of the loan because I'm just sitting with it. It ain't doing much. Thirty dollars is a good price, but I'm still gonna bump it up to thirty-five here. Let people keep coming in. We're about halfway to the goal now, and we're we're doing pretty well. After the rougher start, I'm happy with the actions that are being taken. We do have a red number with max lateral G's. That's not necessarily a terrible thing. It's just probably a bad thing for this type of coaster. But it, it's fine, probably. In the meantime, yeah, look, the intensity is only 9.38. It's just more intense than the most intense coaster in the park. It can open. It'll bring guests into the park. I don't know if they'll ride it, but they'll, they'll come in. Here's monorail cycles. Oh, I forgot it. the tight turns are not tight enough. actually didn't work out I wanted there at all, but you know what? We can sit we can make this work, I believe. I forgot monorail cycles can't go up or down. That seems pathetic. What they can't do anything. Huh. Well, I can't fit it in there unless. I changed the game. I do lead it one more time. This is a fun little challenge, trying to fit this in best I can. What if I do some S bends? goes all the way over here. Double turn, double turn. That's been right. 
couple straight, and then we go back to station platforming. Paying off that, um, and the entrance is going to be right, no queue line, there's no need. I don't need to test it, it works, it can't even be tested, I forgot that. Spinning wild mouse, yeah, we already saw the results on it, it's good. People are buying $20 umbrellas right when they enter the park. People are coming into the park. The park is doing well. I can advertise the park for a couple more weeks. Gotta take a loan out to do it, but I think it's definitely worth it. The advertising campaign for mini golf also just ended. I can up that as well. People don't like the state of the park, park, but park range is currently 944, which is not that low. Rain is just pouring down. Let's advertise the Ferris wheel one. It was one of our first rides. It can get not eight weeks. It doesn't have enough money for eight weeks, but it can get three weeks. There we go. The park has light. We got a log flume. That's actually pretty nice to get. I'm happy about that. Because a log flume would be nice and relaxing in this park, I feel. In hot New York. That's not going to be a good enough spot. Okay. There we go. Marquis in the way. Marquis has too high of an overhead. That is my personal opinion. I'm a reverse turntable. Like so. Boom, boom, boom. Reverse turntable. Do it again. And then photo section. And then we can finish. And it's a log flume, so shouldn't need garage foot entrance and exit, but we shouldn't need a longer station path. Yup, it auto fills itself in to the max one. That was log flume. Beautiful. I want to just open it, but I should wait. There's a chance everything can fly off the rails. There's always a chance. The air power coaster is doing well now. Happy about that. I can pay off a couple more loans. Close to getting my whole loan gone again. It's fun to see it switch spots there. I think this system works. Although it might be a little different with actual people on it because that's once there's actual weight behind everything, it's harder. There's a lot of throw up in this area. Maybe that's what people were complaining about. I hire a new handyman. I'm also gonna pick them up, drop them off in that area. Hopefully we can start dealing with that. I could have made sure the paths were more off more than they are, but that seems like a lot of effort for not the greatest of games. Log Flume is now open. We're almost at a thousand guests. We should keep the advertising going. There's so much to this park that I could explore and do more with, but. Uh, I might come back just for fun and play this one at some point because I like the concepts behind it. There's some fun things here. But I don't need it in general. I don't need another giant spider ride. Stopping myself before I get too far in that concept. We can do a railroad though. The Matthias Martel special of just 
a railroad that doesn't even I could do a transport railroad but I'm not going to this is just gonna be a railroad for fun just because railroads are fun you ever go on trains trains are neat just writing a little love letter And then just have it wrap it along itself a little bit. Kind of beautiful. I like it. It's just a nice train. Nothing to it. Okay. As a drop frames update, because I was curious myself, we're at 7% now. I don't like that it climbed during the stream. That's not a good sign, but I do think 7% is a level that I could live with, assuming that's it. I don't want to drop my frames for a second. That seems like a worse idea than some others. I should just look into upgrading my internet as well, I think. Because I'm paying for the cheapest internet I can get right now, and if I'm going to be streaming more, and I want to be streaming, that's just got to be something that I prioritize. Plus, fast internet's really nice. Because I'll never say no to fast internet. Just as I'll never say no to, what was it, Lot Free Falls. Lot Free Falls are dope. We can we can go that right there. Exit and entrance. Uh, let's give this one a test. I want this one to go up, I think. Okay, so it's gotta go more. It's gotta go more. How's 58 gonna do? Looks like 58 is going to be good. I'm going to decrease it one just to be, make myself feel better. Feel a little more safe. There we go. That is a test rate. Our campaign for the Ferris wheel has ended. Let's advertise, bring that onto the main screen so people can see it. Flower Power Ride 1. It's Woodstock after all. I pay off the last bit of my loan. Uh, laundry Fall's not that good, but we're going to open it anyways. It gives good park value, in a, even though this is a scenario that does not care about park value. Alright, I get why this is an easy mission. It's, I felt like I was making mistakes in the beginning, doing nothing in the beginning, and it's fixing itself. Where you're able to generate guests pretty easily. The pay for entry part of this park is not as bad as I was worried about, because people are coming in. You're able to advertise, you're able to get things to work for you. I could probably use another mechanic. I'm gonna hire a couple more entertainers and one more handyman. We've got a thousand one hundred fifty-five guests right now. I can I can afford to make a charge more. Uh, it's fun to see the roller coasters go around. I really do like this game. I'm sad that I'm almost done with all, well I'm not almost done, but I only have this pack of missions left for scenarios, and there's not a crazy amount of them. But I can always rebuy uh, Rogue of the 1 and do those, and I believe there's a scene in this game for just making custom scenarios, so I can go and play some of those, assuming that's an aspect people are interested in. 
This steeplechase is going to be a fake coaster. Just warning anyone watching. This this coaster is not going to actually be like a coaster I'm going to try for. It's just entirely, uh, I want to have a steeplechase in here. So here's a steeplechase. There's nothing to it. Just going to kind of look a little weirdly shaped is where I'm at. Hmm. Let's delete that spot and we can end that off. No, we cannot. That did not go as far as I thought it did. Straight, boom. That pathway is going to need a fix real quick. There we go. Alright. It's not going to be a good coaster. But that's not the point of it. The point of it was to be able to say I have a steeple chase. And it looks funny. Let's test it out. So I still don't want it to crash or anything. But it never even goes back up. It only goes down after its first incline. leave the stats window up there for it to investigate. Look at it go. Look at those steeples. They're super chasing. Name steeple chase is a weird name of a line. I don't completely get it myself. Was that it? I want to make sure I see this. You know, I was doing maximum funding, okay. I'm getting my last, uh, last thrill ride with this whole setup. Steeplechase has excellent stats. Just simply the best stats for the people in this part. Alright, similar but even worse concept. We're getting close to uh, the end of this mission. I'm allowed to be a little dumb. We're going to make another square. And as everyone knows, the best squares are ovals. Boom. There's so many good things I could actually be doing with uh, compact inverted coasters, because they're actually really viable in terms of elements and fun stuff you can build with them. But if I start getting invested into building one, I'm going to be done with this mission before that even happens. I'm going to test that out. And we can see how it goes. Look at them fly. Look at them go. They're just hanging out. And we got our twist. I can place that one down without an actual... Um feeling of screwing up the entire part. Hmm. I want to put this in a place where I can have a cue path. I'm not sure the viability in the areas I already have cleared out, but I think this spot gives me a cue path of one, so it wins. I mean, I could always delete so, fill that. You know what? I'm leaving it. Uh, I could fill in Combat Converter Coaster, that's great stats. I could fill in the paths, or delete paths to make uh, queuing better. But why? I'm happy with how it is. How's my advertisement campaign is doing? I'm done with the campaign for the park. May as well increase that again, doing eight weeks now. And all these extra rides are being built. You know what that means? We have another room for a third stupid but works. I don't know where it's going to fit, but it can fit. I believe in it. 
Uh, it doesn't work in that manner that I want it to. I guess it's going to fit on this side of the park. Here we go. Boom. Connected. Open. Stupid boat works. Just always lives up to its name. A lot of fun roller coasters in the park. There's a lot of puke over there. Ignore that. This Handyman 5 is going to go deal with that. But he's walking the direction I didn't want him to walk. I'm just going to put him in the middle of it and hope he figures out at least half of it. Okay. What else do I want to do with this park? I'm not sure there is much. I could do another hyper twister. Or not another hyper twister. Can do a hyper twister. These cost a lot of money. I was just gonna place one, but I think I gotta do this strat again. But it's gonna have a photo section, so you know this one's legit. Beautiful. Everyone loves a good hyper twister. Don't fact check me. I'm gonna test it out. I don't even think that one's possible to fail. Don't need stupid but work zone screen. I gotta get better at exiting out of stuff in the top right corner. Oh, what a beautiful, beautiful roller coaster. This is what people tune in the stream for. For little circles of roller coasters. got the highest stats of any ride in the park. It's not actually true, but whatever. Okay. Let's stay curious. What else can I do with this park? I think I got one of every ride in here. And one of every stall, so anything else would just be excessive. I think I just hold it out. I will give people one more bathroom. They don't have to walk all the way to the beginning of the park. And we can give them another mystery machine. I know that's not what they say this is, but look at that and tell me it's not the mystery machine. That's the mystery machine right there. You're doing some Scooby-Doo crime solving in that motion simulator. Open up. The micro bus. We're at year two, March of year two, and we need 50 more guests. I think we're gonna make this one. You know what? People can come and get a free cookie. And by cookie, I mean pretzel, because that's what I clicked. Runs for nine weeks. And we do another twist right there. And if you thought that was all, you were wrong. Oh, that doesn't fit. Oh, I wanted that to fit. Oh, well. We can do... We can do another slide. The slide fits the vibe of this part. And I just don't want to build more paths. Two lines take forever. So, like... What's the point? Oh, we got the car ride? You know what? 
If the only ride I don't have is a car ride, it's probably a nice park. Car rides? Who likes car rides? I don't think anyone likes a car ride. We just ride them out of obligation. Because if you don't ride them, who's going to ride them? Alright, there we go. We beat the Woodstock objective. As always, if someone has a suggestion for the name to put in this Mario Kart, I like to take a suggestion from chat, otherwise I'll put my name. I think I will. I was wondering if I was going to do multiple, but with the uh, stream issues that I was having, I think I'm going to transfer after this to the second half of the stream, which is trying to figure out my Switch capture card. It's going to be live during that, but I'm also probably not going to be the most perfectly set up with everything, so... Hopefully we can figure everything out. It's going to be a little bit of chaos. Overall, this park was... It got better as it went along. None of the stupid roller coasters that I made did anything particularly cool. This coaster had too much long of a run out. But I like, I like the spinning wild mouse in the middle in the area of the cars. Cleaning out the cars in the middle but leaving them on the side actually worked out really well with the vibe of this park in my opinion. I'm excited for how this was and I feel like there were some interesting things that happened with it. Yeah, I'm pretty... I'm, I'm cool with how this occurred. I don't see any suggestions, so I'm going to put my name in. And... yeah. Alright. I am going to... Switch my game real quick because I'm not going to be playing when it goes with like them too after this. Uh, we're going to put it in as Splatoon 3 because what I'm going to test it out is the new thing. I'm going to switch the title to not mention the scenario anymore. Alright. I think. Now I've just updated the name of the... Yep. Everything here is working now for my end. Still don't like how low the bitrate is. Sorry about the visual quality of all that. But let's see what's going on. I've never switched games during the stream before. But got to throw myself in the fire. Okay. So that transition didn't really do too much. I think what I'm going to do is... Uh, Intermission? Yeah. We'll do intermission right now. I'm going to save and quit out of. Um, this scenario within Roller Coaster Tycoon. So now Roller Coaster Tycoon's off of my screen. I think I do that. Turning my switch on, I'm going to switch my monitor here, uh, hitting buttons is always difficult, I accidentally just turned it off, but hopefully that's fine, I mean my computer's still working so something's going okay. Switching the source to HDMI 2. Alright. Now let me see if that works. No. Hmm. And it's also not making the noise that I was hoping it would. I tested this a little bit prior to stream, but this is the type of thing I'm doing this for. Well, I think what I need to do is open up the Elgato streaming access. So I think what I do is minimizing out of everything that I have to see what I can pull it up. Okay. I see the capture on one thing on my screen, so that works. 
Hmm. Let me see if I can. All right, that's not working as desktop audio either. for a second. Just trying to figure everything out. All right, if I go back to this. Wait, why was that just completely off my screen? Okay. That completely works. If I exit out of that, it still works. Okay, I think this all still works. Got my Pro Controller here, that's fine. Let me pull back up everything that I had. Uh, I don't need that open right now, but I should get this open. I'm just trying to investigate how long my delay is on this system. I've got a decently long delay. Okay, I'm gonna quickly count how long it is till I see it on my screen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine seconds. I remember a time when Twitch used to be 30 seconds for everyone, so I'm not gonna complain about that. I don't know if audio is being played from the computer. I'm not going to open up that right now, actually, because I want to save that experience for a little longer. If I bring up, I don't know. Fall Guys. Fall Guys makes noise. Let me test something out here for a second. Let me test something out here for a second. That might loop on audio for a second. Again, apologies for anyone actually watching this it's probably not the most entertaining watch i will admit but doing it live is going to help me figure this stuff out okay so it's really just an audio issue right now because i can hear is coming but it's of course it's not going to be a part of my system it's not going to be desktop audio because this isn't connected to my desktop anymore uh, if I bring up this screen think that's starting to show some audio let me put fall guys back up and now I gotta play this on my end for a second guys back up and now I gotta Play this on my end for a second. Guys, back up. Okay, so I was gonna be looping my audio though. It's probably for a little bit. Uh, let me know if this audio is too much. By the way, because I'm feeling 
that right now that might be the case because I don't have that good of a mic set up and the audio is still playing out of my desktop and I feel like my mic getting that. My mic's still here and stuff. Scrolling through here, I get the audio on both desktop and this. I think if I mute that down, time for me to test if that works on stream. On both desktop and this. I think if I mute that down, time for me to test if that works on stream on both desktop and this. I think if I mute that down, time for me to test if that works on stream. I'm realizing it's hard to accurately gauge everything that's playing out of there. All right, time to go back to the fall, guys. And I'm gonna just shut up for, for 10 seconds and then turn off the audio and see what it sounds like. like I was too muted there um, sound wise so let's keep configuring it for a second and it have this way we're having stuff come out of the speaker that's really what my goal is here I have stuff coming out of the speaker system towards me I could be wearing headphones to hear the game which is not a bad idea um, it's something I probably will do something up the store I would try. I'm going to try that out after this next test, which is doing the same thing again, but I just want to I'm going to try that out after this next test, which is doing the same thing again, but I just want to Okay. So, what I found out there is it's, it's quieting me down. Because I still can hear myself. It's not unplayable or anything, but I think what I'm going to do is take these earbuds right here, untangle them for a sec, try and get this right. I do not need to hit start a show. I'm not doing a round of fog guys right now. Alright, I plugged in my headphones, the switch shows and I plugged in my headphones. Let me see if you can still hear the game in, um, 
want to you want to still hear the game on screen. Let me see if you can still hear the game in. Um, you cannot. I want to. That's unfortunate. Uh, there should be a solution for this. I don't know what that solution is at the time being. They do have an audio jack in here. That might be something more to work out on my own time. Okay. So the headphones thing, just going to reconfirm. That might be something more to work out. Okay, I can hear them in the headphones. Let me check. Okay, I can hear them in the headphones. All right, I cannot hear them on the stream even when the headphone quality is at its highest. So I've got to keep working this one out. That doesn't work how I want it to. What I'm trying to do on that end. I can still hear the music in the headphones because I bumped them up to max. Let me try that again. A monitor solution is probably. Oh, you know what? It's probably the easiest solution to this is just switch my own volume settings because the volume is. I'll make sure I back up my monitor settings correctly. I normally have my audio at 42. If I What is the audio playing now? Okay, so uh, first off, I want to test this. It is playing out of the Elgato right now. If I plug in headphones, it stops it going into the Elgato. But if I unplug them, they go back there. I thought the audio was coming out of... I thought the audio was coming out of my, what am I trying to say, of my speakers, but they're not. I'm just changing the audio there and didn't change it. So it's probably going through my capture card. Either that or it's going through the monitor. So if I plug in the headphones into the, there. Okay, this is 
good. It's not playing any music on my end, but it is playing music for the screen. Now how do I get it to play a little bit on my end? Because I want a little bit on my end, I don't want it to be completely musicless. Do I open this up? the home screen now I'm gonna uh, be talking here for a bit because what I need to test is a I can hear the current audio B the stream can hear the audio of what's on the screen C um I can hear the audio of what's going on right now B the stream can hear the audio of what was going on well I was running through the scene C they don't interfere with each other. I'm okay if I sound a little quiet for the time being, because I can always fuddle with everything a little bit differently. So I'm gonna be talking, because I need to make sure I can hear myself over the Fall Guys here. I'm gonna keep doing the Fall Guys audio because it's the most consistent audio that I can get here. So I'm gonna click A on this. Okay, I think that actually worked. I'm gonna keep talking to myself. Um, we'll see about that. And
All right, I can hear myself fine when I do that. Turn myself back on mute for a little bit so I can speak out loud and hear my thoughts. I'm gonna turn the audio back on. Uh, press A on Fall Guys. Listen to myself for a little bit. And as I listen, I will be able to confirm or deny what's going on in terms of the audio. I think this solved the issue. So I'm going to press A on Fall Guys. All right, I think that fixed the issue. I think, I think that is the solve of the problem. All right, uh, if anyone notices something still up, please tell me, cause I don't know, but let's open up the world premiere of Splatoon 3. Can't even do anything with it yet, but I'm hoping to stream some of this on Saturday when the actual Splatfest is going. Uh, yeah, I should be able to, yep, I'm in the Americas, that makes the most sense. Ah, oh, this is fun to see. This is a game that I'm going to be dedicating a lot of time to. I'm excited to play through the tutorial and just get to stand in the lobby. I'm not even going to pick my team yet. I feel like I always go the girl in Splatoon because I like to pair them I guess this could be easy. They're not the most general hairstyles here. I like this one, the short. I'm pretty white. Shot Junior. I thought it was gonna be the actual just normal splatter shot, but Junior makes sense.
bad place to be story. I think that's what I can do. Look at the little buddy go. Aw, oh, he's so cute. Oh, I love him so much. He's so pretty, he's worth it. And now it's going to be so interesting to do. Inkopolis. This should be all of these stores. Yeah. Gotta be level four. Great.
I like the uh, scope of this new center. It might be a little too big, it might be a little more complicated than I want. Let's go meet all of our fun little colleagues. Yeah. They're really acting like we can go play Circle right now. Never been this big at all. Really close to you might have to throw your switch in just right. I'm just gonna say. But look at this waterfall. That's not a good thing. Like we all die in water, you know. Maybe we should have water in the city. Because there's so much room in this whole city. We just really don't explore. G Among Us? Hi. Is this just a place for people to hang out? I guess so. Do I have to, I have to walk down? That's lame. Yippee! The vertical posts are pretty nice too. I like those. I don't really know that says or whatever. So much for this. This is where uh, Cable Turf Battle is going to be, I'm guessing. Some people really didn't like this, you know. I think this might be fun. But I'm also an actual avid board game fan, so. On that. I think that loops around. Don't think I missed anywhere. Interesting. They leave a lot of room for more stuff to eventually come in this game. They also didn't advertise too much. Here's a Porta Potty. I think this confirms that uh, Inklings and Oculus go to the bathroom, so. Big win there. If Scissors wins, I'm gonna cut my switch in half. People are making bets they are not gonna hold. It's always fun to see the posts. The posts in this game are such a good thing. This is where I can make them. You still have to post them to social media.
Oh, there's salmon one. level two to get a new weapon. Look at all these weapons. I don't think I realized that. Okay. Oh, these are the weapons we get to play with. No sploosh, which sploosh o -matic was my main in Splatoon 1 and 2. options right away. I'm guessing you don't get to keep this stuff now that I'm thinking about it. But we can put a party hat on. We only get to run out the uh, Splatfest t-shirt which you're going to be forced to wear. So it makes sense they won't do that. I think they're giving you like one of every ability to go try out. That might not actually be the case but that's what it feels like. Looks like the abilities are largely the same. I should go investigate what I have my settings on for um, Splatoon 2. Try and fix that, but that's too much right now. The only emote I got right now, but hey, okay. it's all good. This should be fun. All right, that's gonna probably be it for my stream. Thank you everyone for watching. It's fun. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick audio check. See how my audio is now. to my stream it just goes black cool that's what I was hoping would happen but I didn't know that until I tested it yeah and that's cool and then it goes immediately back into my HDMI for my computer which is fantastic actually all right thank you guys for watching I'm gonna try and find a raid target uh, let me look into a potential option because I have the time to look. See, I was playing Roller Coaster Tycoon earlier, so I'll keep looking for that. Uh, 
I think this is a speed run right now, which you know what? I like speed runs. So I'm going to go through the ad here. Thank you anyone who tuned in to watch. Sorry for having it be such a weird stream. Uh, it's nice to do this with multiple computer screens now, let me say. And yeah, thank you everyone. I uh, hope to see you. I'm hoping to probably stream this Saturday. Definitely not going to take as big of a break as I did between streams this time, but I was moving. Life was getting stressful. Uh, but I'm at my new place now. We're settling in. Thank you for dealing with my worst bit rate. Hoping to fix that for the future. All right. Thank you, everyone. Take care. Feel free to join into the raid. Not doing too much other than just a small raid. All right.